Hello, my dear students. Here I am going to solve one of the previous question asked in power electronics. Okay, it was taken from inverters asked in the year 2022 gate examination. Try to solve this question, my dear students. And first of all, how to prepare power electronics, my dear students. Power electronics is the is not the tough subject as most of the students feel. Okay. Just if you have a proper reference, if you understand the approach, how to revise the subject, how to prepare the concepts. Okay. Main thing is the sequence and approach. If you understand that, power electronics becomes easy for you. So that kind of things. I have given in regular course and QRC program. Please refer that and refer my classroom notes. And that is very important for power electronics. If you go through the classroom notes, it will cover everything. I have given lot of tips, lot of shortcut methods, examination point of view, what formulas we have to memorize, how to memorize. Of course, there are too many formulas in power electronics. So you cannot memorize each and every formula. Only 10% of formulas should be memorized and how to memorize those formulas in the easiest way and remaining 90 percent of formulas no need to memorize how to practice those formulas based on certain tips some sequence lot of shortcuts i have explained in the regular course and qrc program please refer that definitely it will be very much helpful to you uh, i made the subject in a very easy manner so that even below average student can easily understand power electronics after listening to the course of power electronics, you feel that it is the easiest subject in electrical, no doubt in that. Okay, right, my dear students. Now let us practice this question. And moreover, along with this regular course, practice all the latest 15 years PYQs for all the subjects. That is very important. Once you practice the latest years. Uh, all the PYQs of latest years, student will understand in the future, in the coming two years, uh, what kind of questions can be asked in power electronics. So that kind of tips also we have explained. Now please refer this question, my dear students. It was asked in gate 22 to 2022 in inverters. Consider a ideal full bridge single phase DC to AC inverter with a DC bus voltage magnitude of 1000 volts. So, see here. So, this is inverter. This is your inverter. So, supply voltage is supply voltage is how much? Supply voltage 1000 volts. Okay. So, this is 1000 volts. The inverter output voltage. See, this is the inverter output voltage and that is actually a square wave waveform with 50% duty ratio. 50% duty ratio means positive cycle and negative cycle are same. So that DC component is eliminated in the output. So this is DC side and the output is AC side. So this is actually output voltage. So output voltage of the inverter is square wave. See here, my dear students, they have already given the output voltage waveform. It is actually a square wave. Then inverter is feeding a load with sinusoidal current. That means the current waveform is sinusoidal here. See, the current waveform is sinusoidal. This current waveform is sinusoidal. And that is lagging by pi by 3 with respect to this. Let me show you the current waveform here. Sinusoidal lagging by pi by 3. This is the current waveform lagging by pi by 3. 60 degrees. The active power delivered to the load. So we have to find out the active power, my dear students. Active power means you know output voltage is a square wave which is having fundamental component, third harmonic component, fifth harmonic component. You know the Fourier series for output voltage summation n is equal to fundamental third harmonic fifth harmonic and so on infinite uh, magnitude is vs uh, 4 vs by n pi into sin of n omega t 
so here from this fourier theories we have fundamental voltage third harmonic voltage fifth harmonic voltage only odd harmonics even harmonics are totally eliminated here and the current waveform is pure sinusoidal at same frequency fundamental frequency so here the resultant output power is same as fundamental power because we are having current is sinusoidal at fundamental frequency i don't have other ac components for current so fundamental power is nothing but fundamental rms voltage rms output current into cos of phase angle difference between voltage and current is pi by 3 see phase angle difference between pi by 3 means 60 degrees so fundamental rms voltage is just go through the fourier theories for square wave my dear students nth harmonic rms voltage this is the amplitude no you want rms means divide by root 2 you will get 2 root 2 by n pi into vs this is nth harmonic rms this is nth harmonic amplitude you want rms means divide by root 2 4 by root 2 2 root 2 by n pi into vs so what is fundamental rms fundamental rms is 2 root 2 by pi into vs so 2 root 2 by pi means 0.9 into the dc supply is 1000 volts here 1000 volts and that is 900 volts dear students fundamental rms is 900 volts so 900 volts into rms current see here amplitude of current is 10 amperes this is 10 amperes amplitude so rms is 10 by root 2 rms is 10 by root 2 cos 60 is 0 0.5 cos 60 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 yes calculate this value and tell me what is the answer so finally i think it is uh, about 3182 watts 3182 watts my dear students main point here you have to understand is output voltage is square wave I have given the Fourier series for square wave, but current waveform is pure sinusoidal at fundamental frequency. So we have fundamental current, we have fundamental voltage, so active power is equal to fundamental power. We have third harmonic voltage, but I don't have third harmonic current. We have fifth harmonic voltage, I don't have fifth harmonic currents. So that is why active power is same as fundamental power. Okay. So it is very easy question main thing is you have to understand the basic concept how to calculate powers when there is ac components at other frequencies also right thank you students all the best for your bright future